Hello everyone. Welcome back. Uh, we basically started this uh, array manipulation methods. Uh, in the first recording, we have discussed uh, this array locator methods. In array locator methods, there are two types. Uh, element locator, either you can locate where the element is. Uh, I mean, uh, is that element existing in the given array? And uh, you can even locate the index, like particular index if existing or not. So that is what you can check. So, uh, and we also had seen uh, as part of this element uh, locator, we have several methods. In element locator method itself, we have these sub methods, like you have find, find first, find last, unique, min, max, like that. We have total six methods or six functions to uh, under this element locator. So last session, we discussed about this find method or find function, how to use. If we quickly recap, uh, how we have done is this example problem. I mean, this example we have taken, uh, which is uh, this element array locator module. In this, this class is used here. This class, if you see here, in this class, we have class members. These are called class members. As I said, we will take up the class later on. But at this point of time, no one need to worry. There is a class. Class will have name. Like the way module and module name is there. Na? Like that. And end module is there. Na? Like that end class. Inside the module and end module, what we have some declaration, right? So same thing here also. Like uh, this is the declaration. This is the declaration here. And uh, this is also a declaration. I among these declarations, we, uh, we uh, I mean, with each uh, declaration here, we have used this rand. This is the extra thing that we are seeing here. Rand is a uh, one uh, qualifier, like uh, it is uh, for randomizing this uh, uh, variable, this variable. So that's what you have to understand at this point of time. And uh, this class, along with the, the members, it also has some method. This method can be a function or it can be a task also. So, so generally functions and tasks are called methods. So here in this example, we have this method that is function. So to print these contents. And uh, here, this color underscore type is here is of enumerated data type. So this is of enumerated data type. This has become data type just because of this type def. So it is user, it has become now the user defined data type. So then this module here, what you are seeing here, uh, inside this module, this transaction class, this is the name of the transaction. You can keep any name for the class, by the way. So here the name given is this transaction class, transaction. And this transaction is of type class. Class is a data type. It is of, it is of type class. So this class instance here is TR. It is called handle. So this handle, with the help of this handle, what we do is we either do a, some operation over this data members or we can call these methods used inside the class with the help of this handle. That is possible only after creating the memory. For this, we have to create the memory. Uh, how we are creating the memory? that uh, already discussed in the video one. Here also, since it is still recap, uh, I'm just revising. 
uh, then line number i will show this one how we are uh, you know declaring the memory assigning the memory to, to this and then here we have the transaction again and here the handle is this tr underscore as this as soc underscore ar this is associative array because here you can see the index is a kind of data type instead of some uh, number and then this is uh, this is the array fixed uh, fixed array uh, you can see here is the size is 8 and uh, we have assigned here uh, for all of this uh, you know eight different indexes here are the assignment and then in this module we are simply using this function generations line number 21 line number 25 line number 29 here line number 33 line number 37 and line number 41 if you see all at all of these lines here they are function calls we are calling the function this function is defined somewhere we are just calling that function and uh, then this is uh, initial initials begin and that begin end is here and then finally end module now where is this function is function is here see for example this is the function the function name is array gen here so with the name here array gen we are invoking or we are calling or we are instant inst instantiating so we are calling it in the module so this is not going to return anything that's why it is uh, of type void void is data type it doesn't return anything such that, such or or void data type so here now this is where the you know new function is used to create the memory for this class handle tr now what we are doing we are using this method randomize is the one method or a function this is inbuilt in the system very long what it does it it randomizes those variables inside the class which are with the rand or rand c qualified so if it is rand or rand, same thing here after this we keep the c that is rand c so random cyclic so we will see them elaboratively later on but here the point is i'm just uh, revising last in the video one what i have covered and then after randomizing we are just printing what you have randomized and you are carrying out the assignment of this whatever being generated to this uh, array so this array is it of type associative so we have uh, kept here index 3 so uh, this one if you see here it is it is uh, associative array and the index is of type int and it belongs to this transaction so here class handle is copied to this meaning this handle and this handle point to the same address it means same contents will be there uh, where this is pointing tr underscore this as associate underscore a r of three wherever it is pointing there the contents of this tr are seen so handle only copied both handles are pointing to the same memory location new memory location is not created there is a concept of called there is a concept called shallow copy and deep copy so that uh, we will see later on but for now we are what we have to understand is this this is a handle pointing to the same memory uh, that uh, that uh, that had been created for tr so now again the same thing we are repeating here same thing we are repeating here same whatever it line number two to five is then same thing so that way we are generating the array now with the help of this find method find we already discussed the last uh, video uh, kindly watch that video 
what it does is returns all elements satisfying the given expression. So here, if you see what is the expression given here, what is the expression given here? Find with the item colors that matches the yellow. So then we have to find. So here, what are the uh, like with the yellow? Uh, they they will be like if that match occurs. If th these are the items. So if that match occurs to the yellow, the, they will be assigned to this tr underscore q. So tr underscore q is a unbounded q. We uh, we had seen queues that regarding uh, is there queues regarding system very log queues. In that I have to explain bounded q, unbounded q. This is unbounded q. So that can be seen there. So now uh, what we are doing here is tr underscore q dot size of the uh, of that how many uh, locations being uh, created that size will be displayed with the help of this function so this part we have covered last time I kindly watch that and uh, here if you see this is a very simple expression this is a complex expression so then you kindly watch I have discussed about this this find method in video one Today, so we have revised what all uh, covered briefly. We have revised. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to cover today possibly this uh, find first, find first, find underscore first. This method we are going to cover if time permits. Then I will try to cover this also. So, like uh, here, if I see the methods there are several methods so if time permits i will cover two at least in this uh, recording uh, one is for sure i will be covering okay so let's go to that now uh, find underscore first let's go to the definition of that find underscore first what it is doing here returns the first element satisfying the given expression so some condition if we keep if that condition is met that very first time uh, wherever it is meeting down like uh, you have some maybe uh, 10 uh, uh, indexes let's say at, uh, at one index uh, somewhere it uh, does the condition first being satisfied so those elements are returned those elements are returned so uh, let's say, as I said, 10 indexes down the line somewhere, let's say at sixth index, this condition has been satisfied. And at the eight, uh, eighth index also, uh, same condition uh, satisfying is existing. But the very first content, so where, it, uh, where we met the first satisfy, uh, I mean, this kind of expression been met, that itself will be returned only for the first one. Okay, so we'll see you with example. So here, if you go to this one, find first, what we are doing here is find underscore first with a low. Okay. This is the same thing. Uh, we used the same condition here. And then this expression also, you can see, this is the another expression. So, uh, here, wherever this first yellow, if you see here, uh, the array generation, array generation, this, this is the array, actually. And what we're doing first comparing where this yellow occurs. This is the yellow. This is the only one thing uh, occurring. So, this is the one, only one is there, and that is the one thing that is appearing first time. So, this will be returned for sure, where here here okay when you pop out and print only that will be printed out next is this one here expression has multiple conditions this has got multiple conditions what it is saying is data item must be greater than or equal to one and it data item must be less than or equal to five it is condition where it meets the first time so that uh, that one here if you see the array this is the array gen generating array if you see generated array in that 
if you see this data items, only data here, this one. So it should be greater than or equal to uh, one. And it must be less than or equal to one. So if you see that way, then greater than means this, this one. This is the first occurrence. So now if you see here, uh, first uh, method, if you see this one here, there is the, the such condition satisfying existing several, but the very first one is uh, this one. The, uh, this one. This one is uh, greater than uh, data. Let us see the condition. Condition. Condition is it should be this data, data variable data variable here also. So what is the condition? These two conditions it should satisfy. It should be greater than or equal to one and it is less than or equal to five. So if you see here in the generated here, data if you see, is this greater than or equal to one means? Yes, it is greater than, but it is not less than. So this is not the one. This one, greater than, okay, greater than one, but not less than five. So this is not the, this is not that one. What about this one? It is greater than one and also less than five. So this is the first occurrence that is happening, right? And it is four, data three, and color is red. This is the first time happening here. So the, that's why. This can this if you see this is the one. so that way this first find first is working. So find underscore first method will do that job. So the name itself uh, uh, helping us first first occurrence. So what is the first occurrence? Down the line, this condition still may be satisfying somewhere. If you see here, let's go to that condition here. If you see data is greater than uh, one, this one, if you see, and it is less than five. This is also satisfying, no? but it will take only one. That is the first occurrence, first to satisfy, uh, where the condition uh, is satisfied the very first time. So this is the very first time that condition uh, met. So this it will take. Though this is happening, but it will not take that. That's what the first means. Find underscore first means. All right. So that's all. Uh, I think this is clear. In case of doubts, you please drop uh, uh, in the comment section in case if it's not clear. Now coming to the, this find underscore last method. Again, here also, this is helping here, this name. So let's go to the description. The description here is returns the last element, satisfying the given expression. So in the given expression, you might be getting this uh, condition met first time, second time, third time, like that. But those are not treated. The last occurrence, uh, where this condition uh, uh, been met, that that element will be taken. So in this example, find first over, find last. If you see here, the condition here is this find, find underscore uh, last. So what is the item that yellow? This is one thing. And this, the condition remains the uh, same this condition so with this two if you go up where we have generated the array this is the generated uh, array in this generated array if you see the red this is uh, sorry yellow uh, so that this yellow is only one occurrence here and uh, and fortunately this is the uh, only one which is occurring so that is the last so only one will be printed 
the other is if you see this condition where data uh, is uh, data only ha we have taken uh, yes data is considered here for the item so this condition if you see data is greater than seven but it is not less than five so this is not considered data is greater than one but it it should be less than five also but it is not also happening this is happening data is greater than three and also less than five can we consider this means no <laughs> we have to still check uh, so this one also meeting can we consider this means no we have to further consider this one is last one right data is uh, greater than one and it is also less than uh, five so this is the last occurrence among the existing this is the last occurrence so this will be printed out uh, here if you come this will be printed out this is for item hello comparison this is for that uh, expression this one item data greater than two conditions are there no? so that is how the find underscore last method is working so this find underscore last method now mm, anything i'm missing out here this is for printing purpose uh, this is for printing here you have you moved the last item into tr underscore q and how many uh, i mean indexes are there that will be with the help of this size function we can this we have already discussed in previous videos uh, and what it does is th this size it will iterate through those indexes so since only one has come so at only one time it will happen so initial is zero so element zero plus one that is one first element what it does it pop front pop front pop uh, uh, back push all this uh, we had seen in uh, queue system with lock queues so what it does it 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 reads out pop front means it reads out what it from where it reads out from this one and it assigns to this uh, tr and this is this is printed here tr dot print tr is a handle as i said and uh, this is uh, this dot print is a print function which is there in the class in this class tr class so it calls that and it will print that what it had read out to this tr in the tr what will be going here tr underscore q contains tr underscore q what it will have la the last item contains all right so that's how it is happening in case of drawers you please comment them out i will simulate and show uh, these things what i'm discussing here now i think this will be enough here uh, because i have to simulate also and uh, remaining three can be covered in another video so let's go to the simulation of this that is uh, see to simulate this what you have to do is what i recommend is you just copy this array locator module first okay copy it go to eda playground and here you have to log in log in with your gmail account and uh, once done here you just paste what you have copied paste it that is done okay so now see here there are several functions right several functions we're calling so what is essential for us is we have to generate the array first so this is essential for us and now today what i am demonstrating this find first so this is essential for us what is essential we will keep and what is not essential them we will comment out okay so let us do that
So this okay. is not required in today's demonstration, in this video's demonstration. So I have commented these lines. This is required, 18, 19, 20, 21 required because I had to generate the first array, right? And uh, this is required, find last method. So what I will do is I'll just uh, comment rest of the things here. This I will comment them out. After that, I'm just keeping only these methods. I just kept, uh, I'll create the space here. So now you can see this one method, find first and find last methods. So where these methods been written here, that also we have to take. This function call we are making array generation, this one. So let's copy this one, copy. And uh, go to here, this create a file and give the name array. Uh, gen underscore gen dot sv array underscore gen dot sv create and paste that that is done this is for generation and we also need uh, this method find first method right so for that go to copy this one and come here Create a file, find first dot sv, create and paste it here, that one, what we have copied. After that, we are also demonstrating this one, last method. So this one also you copy, copy, go here and this is find uh, underscore last last method it is dot sv and create this one paste it here so now select the tool here on deck rivera pro and just save it and then few more things are there to do here so now let's let's do one after another so what is that one after another means first find first we'll do the first so to do that here where after this class after this class okay mm, not after this class inside the module after this declaration after this declaration before initial you just use this include backcode include backcode include is a compiler directive and then the file name so first we need array generation right so array underscore gen dot sv and then backcode include include we also need find first find first dot sv so this first will uh, demonstrate find first and then we'll go to the find last since we are not doing currently find uh, last so that is this one we can uh, uh, i mean comment out here so this one we can comment out. So let's do that. Uh, okay. Now only this function is there here. So let's save it again. And just uh, okay. Once uh, let me ensure everything is properly done. Yes, everything is properly done. Now, what is that we have to do? We just have to <coughs> uh, uncheck this one and then run. So, run. So, let's see. 
So now if you see, this is the generated array. And in that, we are comparing uh, the first item is yellow. If you see here, this is the find first already discussed. Just again, this is with a single expression. I mean, simple expression. But if you see a uh, little bit uh, complex or multi, otherwise multiple expressions, here. this is one expression, this is one expression. So already have discussed what is the, uh, you know, meaning of this expression, what is the meaning of this expression. And if you see here, accordingly, we are getting the results. Accordingly, we are getting the results. All right, this is one one thing here. That is number of elements of color yellow is one. So that is element one and uh, element one related all. Like address, data, its color. Same thing here. A data item uh, which is like, you know, it is greater than or equal to one and less than five is only one item like as such. And uh, since one element one is uh, this one. Okay, we have discussed that one. Since this is done now, that is point first, what we can do in this uh, here, in the test bench, we can comment out this one now. This one, find first we can comment out. So let's do that. And let us uncomment find last because this one we are going to demonstrate now. And then any other changes required means no, not required. That's the only thing. This generate array is required anyway for all of these methods. First, because first we have to generate the array, then only from that array, all these activities are happening. So let's run this one. Mm, here's some issue here. So what it is saying is find last method. So module not found. Okay, let me check. Okay, okay. Here I did not include, I have included find first one. This I supposed to be including this file. So let's do that. Find mm, underscore last dot sv and run. So now you can see this is a generated array. And this discussion we already had carried out, right? So here, what it has generated, this is what it has generated. So if you see this uh, find last <laughs> one, this item uh, colors, we are comparing with yellow. So if you see here, yellow, there are two yellows here. But what it does, it takes the last one. So that's why if you see here, this, this got printed here. That is, though there are two, here with yellow, there are two, you can see. Uh, one is at address six, one is at address seven, but it will take the last one, which is at address seven. That is one demonstration. I mean, one with this expression, the other is this condition, it, it should meet that data one, data, data item. So if you see the data, it should be greater than one. So if you see the greater than one, where it is, all these are greater than one only. And it also should meet this condition. It should be less than or equal to five. If you see uh, less than three is less than, of course, five is also equal to one because here equal to five is there. But that is not the last, it is still compares here. This four, four is less than five, yes. But last one, if you see that is also satisfying this condition. It is greater than one and equal to five. So this condition is met. So what it does, it takes the last one. So now if you see here, ADDR6, data of five, color green. Got it? So that's how the use of this uh, find last method is.
so i hope uh, our discussion is clear uh, in case of doubts you please post them in comment section i will definitely answer and uh, from this element locator methods we had to cover this three last three methods we had to cover we will cover them in next video because we had to discuss this and then we had to simulate as well so it may take again more than 10 minutes so this is already it has become longer video uh, yeah with that i conclude this um, in case of doubts please uh, post them in comment section thank you